Hey, Jigar here from Mix Analog. I have a very cool task today, and that is to introduce you to our very first branded piece of gear. Dear ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Better Maker Mastering Limiter. If it looks like I'm overreacting, well, wait until you hear it. I can't say what setup you're coming from, but I was living a pretty happy, content life with my software limiters until I've heard this one. So I will not have you waiting any longer, let's go check it out. I've taken the two mixes from my previous video about the Gold Can VCA compressor as my source material. The first song is Building It Up by McLovins and the second is Chardonnay by JP Lantieri. Both are available as multitracks on the link below. I'll start with Chardonnay this time, let's first have a listen with the limiter bypassed. To get this thing going, I'll first decrease the output level a bit, so I don't clip into the AD converter input. Then I'll increase the input level until I get some gain reduction. Now that I have the basic levels set, I can show you the two features that I really really love on the Battermaker Mastering Limiter. The first is the intelligent release, and it's one of the best implementations of this feature that I've heard to date in any Dynamics processor. The way it makes the release not completely transparent, but still so musical and vibey, it's just, well, magic. I don't know what exactly is going on inside the box, but it's spot on for my taste. And the second is a clipping circuit with a combined control parameter, they named it Clippiter, that lets you distribute the load between the VCA limiting stage and the clipping stage. If you're really looking to squeeze those last few dBs of loudness from a track, this button will give you just that, an instant 3 to 4 dB more gain before unwanted artifacts of limiting start to get audible.
try as I might, I was not able to get this level of transparency with such high RMS from any software limiter that I own. Naturally, I don't own all of them, so I might be missing a really cool one, but try it out for yourself against your favorite and let me know in the comments if you find a worthy contender. And this is the second song. Being a more dynamic source track, this might pose a bigger challenge for the limiter, so let's see how it works on this one. And this is our song, building it up. To demonstrate another feature of this box, I'll use the harmonics generators to try and add some thickness to the low mids with the even harmonics and see how the odd harmonics generator sounds on the high mids. Maybe they will add a nice crack to the drum hits or, well, we'll see. <laughs> Stop me, but I'm 
back of my head And I'm making a plan Jumping out of this lane Last but not least, let's take a look at what this width control is all about. To use it, the MS or mid-side mode has to be engaged. And that might change our gain reduction behavior, so we might have to adjust for that as well. As with all MS processing, mild caution is advised to not overdo it, because lossy codecs, FM radio transmission and all kinds of small speaker mono gadgets are all perfectly capable of simply erasing various amounts of side channel information and we generally don't like to have half of our music gone. I think that's the gist of it. We've covered all the important features and got a glimpse of what it sounds like. You're very welcome to give it a go with your own material at mixanalog.com and rethink if you'll be buying another software limiter anytime soon. I wish you a good day and hope to see you next time. Bye.